Ryan, the big week is upon us. And as we can see in the background, it looks like you're ready to go. How are you feeling? Oh, it's exciting. You know, it's been uh, almost a four year journey for us and the team. And to be able to see the teams on site today, practicing and getting set for first tee shots on Thursday. Uh, we're pretty excited, Munzee. What does it feel like to finally be there? You and I have talked about this so many times and you allude to it. It's been a long time. Does it feel real yet? You know, I think when the balls are in the air on, on Thursday, it will. I think you get kind of caught up in it. I mean, you're, we're getting lots of, you know, texts and, you know, words of encouragement. And and I like, think, like I said, seeing the players on property kind of starts to make it feel real. But once you put uh, butts in seats around the, the first tee behind me, then uh, you get a little flyover. I think uh, we'll feel real then. I know it's been intriguing during our championship calendar, wherever we've gone throughout the province. Kind of seems like the President's Cup continues to be brought up because they knew you were there, a Winnipeg guy. <laughs> what does that mean for you to kind of have the background here of the province? And you know so many people that have played in our events and continue to play, and you're kind of right yep. at the top of the pecking order there right now. I don't know about that, but, um, you know, as a, as a proud Winnipegger, you know, to be able to – to come out here in mornings like today and run into Derek Ingram on the practice range and, uh, you know, laugh a little bit about, you know, what we do for a living. But, you know, I think it's pretty cool. One of our goals was to have at the beginning, it was to have people from coast to coast uh, at this event. And according to Ticketmaster, we've hit every province across the country in one territory. So I think, you know, we can we can almost check that box. But I know there's a lot of good Winnipeggers coming out uh, to support this week. We've got a, a bunch of people coming in tomorrow, I know, uh, that are here, I think, through Friday. So it'll be great to see some familiar faces I haven't seen in a while. But I think you're right. You know, I mean, there, we've talked about this over the years. There, There's a lot of these players, whether it's this President's Cup or others, that their path has taken them through winnipeg and uh and i think that's something that shouldn't be overlooked i was literally showing somebody yesterday a picture of tony finau playing the players cut the old players cup now manitoba open at pine ridge years ago and uh and we looked up and there he was on the range i'm like you know there's there's a lot of stories like that and and i think that's something that you know obviously adds tribute to uh, pga tour americas and the amazing talent on that but it's really kind of a bit of a full circle moment for us well, I know you're standing right near the first tee. Can you take everybody back here in Manitoba through a bit of a tour as to what we're going to be able to watch on television this week? Can you move? Yeah, I think. A bit? Let me just let's just see if we can uh, we can stroll in here. We got. We're going to walk into the uh, the commissioner's suite here on player left on the first tee. You know what? We'll go and we'll walk. There's no players out there yet. We'll walk right out into it for everybody. So as you walk us kind of through here, Ryan, you've been in Montreal now for a while. Just what's your journey been like here getting ready for this? Uh, here, let me give you the shot here and then answer that question. But let me just see here if I can flip this around on Zoom. Nope. All right. I'll just give you this. There we go. So here we go. This is where it'll all happen on Thursday morning. Just a couple of people. We got twenty plans for twenty five hundred seats. And there we go. How good is that, eh? Yeah, a little twenty five hundred seat amphitheater, which we're uh, you know, we've been talking in this community for a long time about we want to bring the Bell Center on a Saturday night. Habs versus the Canadians, that atmosphere to the first tee on starting on Thursday. So had to build them a little arena to do that. So I think we're uh, we're getting there. I asked you about kind of the journey coming into mm -hmm. it. Uh, you've been there since none of that behind you was there to where <laughs> it's right now. Uh, how cool is that? You know what? It's been pretty cool, honestly. I mean, to see this thing come to life from uh, – from making the announcement to a, a, a large team of people drawing up the plans on what this property could look like to, you know, standing here today, a couple of days before we, we hit tee shots and, and seeing it come to level, come to life is pretty wild. I mean, we've got a little over 600,000 square feet of floor space built on this property, ready to welcome uh, the better part of 30,000 fans a day. We've got a, just our fan shop, our merch tent alone is 40,000 square feet. Um, 
We've got basically the back nine is filled out with hospitality. Um, there's six fan bleachers in and around. We've got three neighborhoods sort of named after familiar areas in uh, in Montreal for people uh, over and above just wanting to watch golf. We've got a lot of great food options, food partners, you know, big video screens, uh, music, things of that nature. I mean, the first the first team won't be quiet. We actually we've hired the uh, the same DJ that uh, or the DJ group they use at the Bell Center to get people hyped up sort of an hour and a half before the tea times. And then uh, the voice of the Montreal Canadiens, Michelle Lacroix, will uh, will announce every player on the first tee. So it's uh, it's pretty exciting to see it all come to life. And, and like I said, it's just tweaking now. And I think, you know, we've. We've gone through the building and now it's sort of tweaking the fit and finish of it all. Finally, Ryan, I know as the executive director, you're probably supposed to be impartial, but uh, will you have a little extra eye on the three Canadians and Penrith, Hughes and Connors that, uh, that are representing our side? Yeah, I'm definitely supposed to be impartial, but my passport is a Canadian passport. So uh, I think absolutely. You know, we've got such an amazing group of Canadians out here. Um, they are so jacked to be here. I mean, when they were here three or two weeks ago for their scouting trip, I mean, just to see them walk off the uh, the bus and the excitement in their eyes. Um, I think it was especially, especially fun to see Mackenzie Hughes because, again, tying it back to Winnipeg, we gave Mackenzie Hughes his first professional exemption at the Players' Cup. So uh, to see him come full circle and now we're back together here at the President's Cup, I guess he and I just really only do, do tournaments that end with cup together. So uh, <laughs> it's uh, it, it's been a fun ride, Munzee, and uh, and just seeing, seeing everybody come together, friends, family, fans, and the community, um, it's exciting times. Well, I know you've got a ton of stuff going on right now, so we'll let you go. Thanks for taking some time on this Monday, and uh, enjoy the week. And what's planned for next week? <laughs> we actually have all of our uh, clients playing the course Monday, Tuesday. So I think Wednesday we'll take a big exhale. But uh, we got a few days in front of us to, uh, to have some fun and grind it out. All right. Thanks again. All right. Thanks, Munzee.